course to another uh, probably rather short uh, review video because there's not much action to talk about and I didn't see a whole lot of action to be honest. Um, no games in Portugal. I guess there was a cup round. I haven't even checked that, but you know, uh, the cup, uh, the Tasso de Port Portugal, I usually uh, check when it gets to the later rounds. And in Spain, I'm recording this now on Monday evening. Alaves uh, Betis is still uh, going on. Then there's another game and two have been postponed. So there's only a total of five games that I'm talking about right now. You will get the result of the Monday games and then all the adjusted standings and so on in tomorrow's statcast or you know tuesday's statcast i should say because this might actually only post on tuesday so uh depending on where you are when you're watching this not many goals but an interesting result i'm varying barcelona who again showed maybe a few signs of life thanks to ansu fati so let's see where this takes us i want to start a little bit of Real Sociedad Mallorca. I again, I did not really see it, but from what I hear is, uh, this was a Real Sociedad eking out a victory with ten men uh, for the second half only uh, injuries, and they brought on Lobete, who scores in the 90th after Zubi Mendy assist the winner. Of course, the Russell that has to play without Oyar Sabal, who seemingly is injured and out and whatever. So, um, yeah. From what I hear, the Asos that likes that they are not playing well and still winning, which means that they are a really, really good team and maybe they can win something. I heard also thrown around this, it was a little bit like Atletico Madrid. Rayo Vallecano find themselves 1-0 down to Elche. However, they win 2-1 and continue to win. I think they have won every single home game so far. I mean, yeah, we are now kind of, sort of, almost at the quarter, quarter mark. So that says already something. However, still a lot of games to be played. Uh, and it was all without Radamel Falcao scoring as well. So Hernandez and uh, Niteka. Uh, getting the goals for Rayo, who continue to be the surprise of the season and with some of the nicest jerseys in La Liga. But you know, I don't know yet when the La Liga jersey re re review will come, but I hope it will come rather soon. I did see a little bit of Celta against Sevilla, but I honestly, I was not too intrigued by it. Um, it was kind of the, you know, La Liga at this moment still, it is a lot of mediocre games, not many ch uh, chances unless you get to the really, really good teams. Also Sevilla, I would count as a really, really good team, but they're more a solid side that gets results than a side that is brilliant uh, going forward. That's at least my feeling from Sevilla. And maybe they're getting rid of the tag, most frustrating team in Europe that I anointed to them, I think three years ago. Uh, it is still a little bit far from convincing um, Frankie. In any case, Rafa Mir gives them uh, the winning goal and they get another win. Villarreal losing at home to Osasuna is probably a little bit of a shocker. And then it's of course Barcelona-Valencia. The result says 3-1 for Barcelona, but I saw some highlights and so on. Um, this was a lot closer. And Valencia, if it wouldn't have been for a great Ter Stegen save, could have equalized already in the second half and might have gotten something from the camp now. The first goal through Gaia was just a screamer, uh, really, really nice. But then Ansu Fati after a Depay assist, kind of, um, you know, Messi came from right, uh, Ansu came from the left and kind of a 1-2 with Depay where he then plays it. I mean, it was, it was Messi like he's not Messi and he will never be Messi. I'm just saying it. Uh, it was kind of uh, interesting to, to see that. Really nice goal to e equalize it. And then, yeah, a doubtful penalty. And this is the third vivid in a row where I say doubtful penalties. So there's a theme this week. Another theme for uh, crazy third jersey, which we're not talking about this video here. Um, so yeah, Barcelona 2-1 up, turning the game. Uh, and as I said, in the second half, it could really have ended with an equalizer of Valencia. And then we talk 2-2 two, two draw and we say ahead of the Clasico, yeah, Barcelona is reeling, is reeling, is reeling. As it turns out in the 85th, Des plays it to Coutinho, where the entire Valencia defense uh, completely forgets about Coutinho uh, in the middle. They seemingly have, have it clear, they have uh, Des surrounded, but no, 
he gets the pass to the ball to Coutinho who is free and can make it 3-1 and I think this must have felt very very good and then even Sergio Aguero came on making his Barcelona debut will he play next uh, week and in the Clasico we gotta, gotta see at least Kuman has changed his tone and said well Barcelona can now win this title because we have well, lots of players fit like this wasn't before you will have other injuries others will have injuries it's just stupid in many ways I, I think we have uh, two really nice games to look forward to as I said the Clasico which could be one of the most open one Clasicos in a long time or maybe not there is not a lot of hype, which sometimes results in a really good Clásico. Uh, and then, of course, Atletico Madrid against Real Sociedad is also a game not to sneeze at. And so that was it from me from Spain. All that I can gather, uh, gather um, I told it to you. So this is where you come in. Please drop a line below if you think you have anything to add or if you wanna, if you wanna add it, I'm very, it's very welcome, of course. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!